been married to the lady I call Barbara the Barbarian. <laughs> and uh, we broke up in 1982, I think it was. And, and since all this hubbub about the wrecking crew and on and on and on, interviews like with yourself, CNN or whoever, and all of a sudden she calls says, I made a big mistake when we got the board. I said, yeah, we'll see you around the airport. <laughs> well, couldn't we get back together? No. N, the big O, no. Don't ever call me again, I don't want to know. When, when you guys, when you played in the studio, how often would, would, would you have arrangements? Would they give you arrangements and how much freedom did you have to improvise? The answer to that question is all of the above. From zero to 100%. I would say that most of the stuff that we did, especially with Larry Nechtel on piano, uh, a lot of it, most of it, was off our heads. You know, we, were doing, we had we had uh, a road map, beginning of the song, the end of the song, with stops in the middle, but we kind of did our thing. You know, that's the way it was. Uh, I had drummers asking me all the time, how'd you get that snare sound? Well, the only way I can explain it is I speak with this. This is mid-range. I'm talking to you. I don't speak up here. And I don't speak down here. And that's the way I tune my drum. I don't. Some guys love it as high as they can get it. And some guys like it down and trashy and filthy. That's the way it is. So that's, you know, that's one of the things that... To talk about my sound. Well, I was in the right place at the right time. It's the same way with Joe. Yeah. This guy was kicking Ricky Nelson in the butt. Really? Before anybody ever heard of Ricky Nelson or Ozzy. I talked to some people recently. Her dad was on Ozzy's band. He was a sex Some gal out of But I remember because, you know, I'm, I'm up there. I'm not 17 anymore. But all the years I grew up, big bands were my meat. And I loved big bands. And believe it or not, Ozzy Nelson was part of it. There were a whole bunch of those territory bands, they called them. And Ozzy's wife, Harriet Tilliard, was the, the girl singer on the band. That's how they got together. They probably got married because it was cheaper to have one room. <laughs> But how often would, would would they come in with a lead sheet and you guys would just would really invent the... That's what I'm just telling you. From zero to infinity. Sometimes nothing, sometimes a little bit, sometimes a lot. Sometimes we make our own lead sheet. Exactly. Oh, really? John exactly. Phillips would come in and play the song. We scratch it. Well, and I'm glad you mentioned that because I talked to Michelle today. And Michelle wanted to send you... I said I'll probably see Joe today. And uh, she said she wants to send regards to you. Oh, oh. Uh, she she loved us. Man. When you asked her to do a quote for possible book, she sent me a letter. Very nice. Written in her own book. She did it. She did it. Yeah, she, she told me that she's very excited because they're just finishing the script. Well, according to her, you know, hopefully it works out. But she said that the people that she's been working with are very excited about it. It looks like it's a go. They just finished, she said they're just finishing the script. I said, Joe, 